Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Let me introduce myself. My name is Rasul Limawal, and I will be accompanied by my team. Hello, my name is Gabriel Marcel. My name is Charlie. Hello, my name is Natasha Odila. We will be your tour guide during your visit in Jerusalem. And now, I want to explain a little bit about our tour package. The highlights of Jerusalem tour package will be three days and two nights. During our highlights of Jerusalem tour package, we will take you through the old city of Jerusalem. We will be visiting the iconic Temple Mountain, home of the Dome of the Rock and Al-Aqsa Mosque, the Holy Sepulchre Church, Golgotha, and many more. The old city is an extraordinary walled city full of unique and ancient buildings, narrow brick alleys, and bustling traditional markets. Beyond the walls of the old city lies modern Jerusalem, filled with modern and bustling restaurants, cafes, and cultural life, a vibrant and dynamic place. On this tour package, we get to explore the best this city has to offer. No trip to Israel is complete without visiting this ancient city and is one of the oldest cities in the world. There is no better way to understand and experience this unique city than with one of our experienced tour guides. Our Jerusalem Highlights Tour is a unique and exciting way to explore Jerusalem's rich and ancient history. We really hope you enjoy your experience with us. Hello ladies and gentlemen. This time I will explain the historical building in Jerusalem in more detail. For the first building is the Dome of the Rock is a golden dome building built by order of the Umayyad Caliph Ab Al Malik between the years 689 and 691 Anno Domini on the Temple Mount or Al-Haram Al-Sarif. The Dome of the Rock is heavily influenced by Byzantine and Roman architecture, lavishly decorated with 45,000 blue and gold tile, pine wood, mosaic carved stone, and carpet. The construction of the Dome of the Rock gave rise to Islamic style, especially those later at by the Ottoman and still retain most of the beautiful structure and decoration. The next building that we will visit is the Church of the Holy Sepulchre or the Church of the Holy Sepulchre which is considered to be Golgotha. The place of Jesus' crucifixion and burial. The first church on the site is the Christian quarter which is believed to have been built by Emperor Constantine. I run Anno Domini 325, very interesting. Architecture is inside, with a mix of Romanesque, Byzantine, and Gothic style. The church also has Greek Orthodox, Catholic, and Armenian Orthodox influence, which can be seen in the stunning ornamentation and artwork in the chapel inside. The third and the final building is Ramot. Ramot is a residential neighborhood designed by modernist architect Svi Hacker in the 1970 era. This historic apartment complex has been dubbed the strangest building in the world. The irregular geometric shape of this apartment complex is called the Beehive Apartment and is seen as a piece of architecture. Thank you. Hope you can enjoy this holiday. Hello ladies and gentlemen. Today I want to guide you to David's tomb. Let's start for the story. David's tomb was founded by Jacob Pintosville in 1951. This place was a very historical because of the greatness of King David by world Israel till the final glory. He has a wisdom, has a 
full faith in God and able to confess his mistake while he sat in the throne. That's also the reason why David has a trust has a God of trust. This tomb located at Mount Zion, where all things related to God stood at here. David, David was a king amongst all kings when his power was. He's got a guidance by God and always believe in the God's command. The famous story about David is about when he defeated Goliath by using slingshot. David just make one sin in his entire life by doing Aldo Chubby with Bathsheba and leading Bathsheba as husband. His name is Uriah into a death by placing him in the front of war. The reason why you all just should come here is because this critical and also you can see other kings with uh, other relics were well, uh, written in the Bible. So Thank you. That's all my information for you. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, today I will explain you about the famous restaurant in Jerusalem. In the first place, there is the Tilly Mosesom was founded in 1994 and old 19th century building. The cafe is named after Tilly Mosesom, a book by Nobel Prize laureate S. Y. Agot. Only history in English. Timon Sisom is situated in a picture well always of Nacha Shiva, one of the first neighbors to build outside the old city of Jerusalem. The buildings in the neighborhoods are built from Jerusalem stone and the arches and hidden niches make it intriguing area to explore. Science. Our establishment in 1994, Timo has been a cultural institute that hosts to the tops of and posts among them Yehuda Achmi, Amos Oz, Abiezua, David Guzman, Orly Castle Bloom, Batiagur, and many more young writers, musicians, and actresses are also often host at Timo among other things, Timo Sisom is popular as romantic meeting place, dates, anniversary, and even marriage proposal he happen here on a regular basis. In 2008, we published the love book of Timo Sisom that include photography and true story of some of the couple who meet here. We even wrote and regularly produced a humoristic play about romantic dates here. The fun fact of the Timo Sisom. According to Leonel, Leon Lee Planet named their Shaka Shuka is one of the 10 best breakfasts in the world. In the second place, there is Machiuda. Machiuda restaurant is named after the Mahene Yehuda marketplace in which is location. It is a fairly new place because having opened in 2009 and so far is booming and success. Gardening wall to wall prices in the media. The restaurant was established by three well known Jerusalem chefs Asaf Grani, Piusi Alt, and Uri Navor, who joined in Forest to launch a marketplace that serves joyful modern Israeli cuisine. The restaurant is designed a colorful, light fashion, and the menu changes daily according with the marketplace inventory and the chef mode. The kitchen is completely visible, allowing you to see how your food is being made. The fun fact about Machehuda restaurant is, if you need to wait in your reservation across the street, at Yehuda Leh, at a lively cocktail bar by same owners, once in, grab a seat to bar to watch exuberant Chef sliced dice so well being on the post and pants to the beat of GP music. The menu changed twice daily but nearly always include Chamasuka, a fusion 
of chopped meat and hummus a cream poleta topped with crispy asparagus, mushroom rogut, and served parmesan, and a raccoon's dessert ceremony of ice cream fluff on the table, covered in a aluminum foil. To enjoy the full range of flavor, you can order the tasting menu. In the third place, there is Eucalyptus Restaurant. The Eucalyptus was founded by Moshe Baston, a native of Iraq who moved to Israel with his family as a refugee with his was a Ivan. In the early 1960s, Moshe painted an Eucalyptus seedling in the garden. 25 years later, his brother Jacob built a restaurant around the tree with the bowl standing in the middle of the dining room and the branches extending above the roof. He brought in Moss as a cook and Moss soon took over the place. When Basun started flavor his cooking with wild animal roots and plate that he gardened in the sovereign feet. The restaurant began attracting a food crown. Basun closed the restaurant when he heard the city was planning to rent develop to site in a shopping center and traveled about to simple the cuisine of cryptus turkey is thailand and africa upon his return basan reopened the eucalyptus in a new location at seven directions street in downtown jerusalem which was part of growing israeli food scenes four years later he moved the eatery and to an address in Safra Square. He made the restaurant kosher in 1997 after his father's death. He was forced to close the restaurant again during the second infall data in 20, 2002 due to the drop in tourism, but reopened in 2008 back of Hiroshima Street as uh, 2015. The restaurant is located Huzun Nihazun opposite the walls of Jerusalem. The fun fact about Eucalyptus Restaurant is the Eucalyptus Restaurant promotes the Israel food during embracing biblical ingredients including the seven species, well barley, grapes, fine pomegranates, olive oil, and dead honey. On a regular use in dishes, Basan has extra research biblical foods, preparing and eating traditional as well. In addition, Basan professionally forges for real ingredients growing on the nearby Jerusalem hills, include wild corn, mallow, sage, purus, lemon, farbenta, and another individual plants. Thank you for joining our virtual tour, and goodbye!